It is late spring in the southern Appalachian Mountains, and some of the most prolific flowering shrubs in North America are starting their bloom. The Heath family, scientific name Ericaceae, contains some of the more noted flowering species of shrubs in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Since the Great Smoky Mountains do not rise high enough to have a true timberline, some members of the Heath family tend to grow in areas where tree species might not be able to survive, since the shallow soils and rocky terrain would easily topple them in high winds. In a sense, these shrub species are the true mountaineers of the Great Smoky Mountains and exist in some of the more inhospitable areas of the park. Heath balds are quite common along the steeper crests and upper slopes of spur ridges in the Smokies. There are over 400 known heath balds within the park, ranging in size from just an acre to the largest being over 75 acres in length. These unique balds contain a varying amount of Catawba rhododendron, sand myrtle, and mountain laurel, plants that are perfectly adapted to live in high, exposed cliffs with shallow and poor acidic and mineral soils. Growing in a tangled web, Catawbas tend to occupy the steeper crests and slopes of spur ridges and are the most common species on heath balls. These high elevation understory shrubs put on a dazzling display of purple flowers from May into July. Some of the more accessible displays can be found near the Chimney Tops Trailhead, Brushy Mountain, Madron Bald, and Inspiration Point on Mount Lacan. While Catawba rhododendrons make up the majority of heath balls, Sand Myrtle also has evolved to cling to some of the highest and rockiest cliffs in the park that seem almost unsuitable for life. Sand Myrtle is only found around the shorelines of the Atlantic Ocean and in the upper portions of the southern Appalachians. It is believed that this species may have evolved with the great uplift of the mountain range when the continental plates collided forming these mountains. As the mountains uplifted at a rate of a few inches per year, the Sand Myrtle evolved along with the uplift and now resides at the highest areas where the Anakista rock is exposed. This prolific species thrives above 4,500 feet and is found along some of the steepest terrain in places like the Jump Off, Charlie's Bunyan, the Chimney Tops, and on the upper cliffs of Myrtle Point, Inspiration Point, and Cliff Tops on Mount Lacan. These plants bloom in clusters of small, delicate pink-white flowers that are heavily pollinated by ants. The peak of the bloom usually occurs anywhere from late May into early July. While Catawbas bloom mostly in the upper portion of the Smokies, Rose Bay Rhododendron is the most common species of rhododendron found in the lower elevations of the park, mostly below 3,500 feet. Hugging the stream sides and deep ravines with moist slopes and shaded parts of the forest, Rose Bay flowers can be quite spectacular some years, making the forest look like a natural flower garden straight out of the mystical Shangri-La. Rose Bay start to bloom in the lower elevations around early June and can run up to the higher elevations in July. This species is found throughout most of the lower elevations in the park, especially along streams. Perhaps one of the most famous of all the members of the Heath family is the mountain laurel. These understory shrubs can grow as tall as 20 feet high and can be found throughout most of the Great Smoky Mountains. In fact, they are one of the most prolific species growing in every forest zone and at just about every elevation within the Appalachian Mountains. These are one of the first of the Heath family species to flower. Their prolific blooms exhibit a geometric complexity that is very random yet has a sense of procedural order that makes the plant seem as though it's straight out of an M.C. Escher drawing. Mountain laurel is one of the most cherished shrubs within the region, and standing under thickets of areas blooming with mountain laurel flowers is one of the Great Smoky Mountains' most intriguing sights. High above Cades Cove on the main crest of the Smokies, 5,000-foot Gregory Bald resides as one of the two remaining grassy balds in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The other grassy bald is Andrews Bald, which sits off the southern ridge of the Klingwins Dome. Within these balds exists one of the park's wild great natural floral shows. During late spring, intending to peak by the middle of June, flame azaleas bloom at Gregory Bald, creating one of the most vibrant flowering displays found anywhere in the world. The flowers bloom in a multitude of colors such as pink, bright orange, red, salmons, and yellows. 
Hybridization from decades of crossbreeding due to pollinization from bees, butterflies, and moss have created one of the most unique wild azalea displays found in any natural environment. The origin of the grassy balds also remains a mystery, since many grassy balds were found within the Smokies before the advent of European colonialism. It is believed that either the indigenous Cherokees created the balds as a means to hunt, or that the areas were opened up by the grazing of megafauna, such as elk and woodland buffalo. After the megafauna was wiped out, cattle and sheep grazed in the balds, which helped keep them open. Today, in order to keep the trees from overtaking the balds, the Park Service mows portions of the balds to keep the forest at bay. Biologists believe it is only a matter of time before elk, that were reintroduced into the Great Smokies, discover the balds and return them to their original character. Throughout the National Park, late spring provides a floral show that makes the Smokies one of the most diverse and well-known habitats for flowering plants and shrubs. It is a cherished time to visit and explore the Smokies when it can be enjoyed at one of its most glorious moments.